Hey guys, so for today's video, I wanted to quickly show you stuff that I got from uh, the grocery store. I just got back from grocery shopping. I got quite a bit of stuff. I've been breaking out so bad, but I went to the store with my pimple cream still on, but I was wearing a mask, so it's not like you can tell anyways. So I just wanna quickly show you everything I got. Something about seeing all of the groceries laid out is just so satisfying and colorful. Anyways, so I got some raspberries so that I could put in my parfaits. I already have yogurt and blueberries still, so I just needed some raspberries. I got some mushrooms, some basil, because I want to make like a bruschetta. So I got bread for that, and then I got dried cranberries and uh, almond slices for some kind of salad. I got eggs. I got this tofu miso ramen. I don't know, but that would be good for like some kind of vegetable soup. Here are all my greens. I got a cabbage. I like to saute cabbage. And then I got a bunch of cilantro, some lettuce, kale for kale salads, spinach, tortilla chips. Those are my favorite tortilla chips. I love those. I got three avocados, three lemons, two onions. I want to make um, like a pico de gallo. And I got a bunch of fresh tomatoes for my garden, so I'm gonna do that. I got some apples so I can make like this really yummy kale salad I've been eating a lot lately. I got a red onion, because I want to do like a burrito bowl. So I got a bunch of limes to make like a cilantro lime rice. I got this cauliflower pizza. I've never tried it before, so hopefully it's good. I got some bell peppers, some mozzarella. I love these tortilla wraps, these are my favorite but they're like high in fiber and I think they're keto friendly. Yeah, they are. I don't do the keto diet, but I just really enjoy these. I got some heavy cream for like a Alfredo, cold brew coffee. They didn't have the kind I normally get, but this is all they had, so this is what I got. Then I got this non-dairy almond milk and oat milk creamer. I'm excited to try that. Some tortilla strips for my burrito bowls. And I got some pasta. I really enjoy this brand to make like a veggie filled pasta or something. Never tried this, but I saw this and it caught my eye and I'm too lazy to make my own cookies. So just got these and it's vegan. So I wonder how good it's gonna be. We will see. I got these Morningstar breakfast sausage patties. These are really good. Parmesan, some corn for burrito bowls. This is my favorite plant-based deli slices for sandwiches. I love Indian food, so I'm really excited to try this. So I'll just saute some veggies and then throw this in there with some rice. Some black beans. I got baby corn and water chestnuts to make like a stir fry. Then I saw this. This is like a plant-based chicken and rice soup. Hopefully it's good. And then this balsamic vinegar for the bruschetta I wanna make. So I like to get the big size of the lettuce and the kale because I like to kind of prep it and chop it myself. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then I also prep this cilantro so it lasts longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all that. So yes, all my groceries. So what I basically do is just peel the kale off of the stem and then I'll store it inside a pretty big container so that it stays good longer. After I wash it, of course. And I'll do the same thing with all the lettuce. So I'll wash it, break it apart, and then I'll probably just cut it whenever I make my salads or wraps or whatever and I'll just put it in a container for later. Hey guys, so it's a couple days later and I wanted to basically show you what I eat throughout the day. So right now I'm about to just have some breakfast. I'm gonna have an omelet with a bunch of veggies and then some coffee. So I'm gonna start chopping up some veggies, but I have some zucchini, onion, bell pepper, um, mushrooms, and I'm probably gonna put some spinach in my omelet as well. So I usually do about like a two egg omelet because I put quite a bit of veggies in there.
Okay, so I'm sauteing all of my veggies right now. And I'm basically just gonna add some pink Himalayan salt, some pepper, of course. I really, really like to season my veggies. So then I'm gonna add some crushed red pepper flakes for some spice, and then garlic powder. So I just have this cold brew coffee. I've never tried it before, but this was all that they had at the store. And then I've been loving this non-dairy almond milk and oat milk hazelnut latte creamer. So just put some of that in there. Pour the cold brew. Make a little stir. Yeah, it's pretty good. It doesn't really have like that strong coffee aftertaste, which I actually enjoy, but it'll do. So I like when my veggies get kind of browned like that. So I got the omelet cooking and I just put the veggies on the side. I'm not the best omelet maker, so hopefully this turns out well. So I love cilantro, so I'm gonna put some cilantro in there. Now I'm gonna put some raw spinach. Get some greens in. I'm gonna put some homemade pico de gallo on top. And this is the final product, a two egg veggie omelet. Looks so good, I can't wait to eat this. Okay, so it's 12.45 and I'm about to have some lunch. I'm gonna show you guys uh, this kale salad I've been eating a lot lately. I really do like it. The ingredients seem kind of weird, like what they are, but when they're all mixed together, it's actually really good. Okay, so you're gonna need some kale. I use like that dinosaur kale. You're gonna need some pink Himalayan salt, some olive oil, you're gonna need some lemon, an apple. Both of these are from yesterday because I ate the same thing yesterday. A little bit of garlic. You can have already minced garlic, but I like fresh garlic. Some sliced almonds and like a lemon squeezer and a garlic presser. So since I already have my kale prepped from the other day, I just take some and then I'll just start chopping it up into small pieces. And then I'll put it all in like a bigger bowl. So once I have all the kale in the bowl, I'll take some of that pink salt and then I'll just put it right on top. And then you're gonna wanna massage the kale so that it kind of softens a bit. So after I do that, I'll put some olive oil. I'll take my small clove of garlic and I'll put it in this garlic presser and then just press it right in. Then I'm gonna take half the lemon and then just squeeze that right into the kale salad. So then I'll just take a fork and just start mixing that in because I really want that garlic to be mixed in pretty good. Next, I'm gonna cut up this apple into like smaller pieces. It's about half an apple. Then I'm gonna put it in the salad and then give it a good stir. Then I like to top it off with this oven roasted sliced almonds. And that is it, that is my kale salad. It seems weird, but it's actually really good. It has like a nice balance of sweet and sour and a nice flavor from the garlic. Makes the kale taste really good. So good, I love this. And it's super easy to make, doesn't take long at all. Okay, so it's about 5.30 and I'm about to have dinner. I'm going to have a burrito bowl tonight and I already have my cilantro lime rice cooking right now. So it's basically just jasmine white rice with lime, cilantro, pink Himalayan salt and olive oil. And I'm just getting it nice and warmed up and mixed in together. 
Then I have some red onion chopped. I have a lime for the side. I have some avocado that I'm gonna put in there. I have frozen corn that I'm gonna heat up with the kidney beans. I have some lettuce that I'm gonna chop up and then pico de gallo. Okay, so the rice is done, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in the bowl. Then I'm gonna heat up the corn and kidney beans together, season them a little bit. So I'm gonna put some kidney beans. Okay, so I got my corn and kidney beans cooking right now, and I'm going to add some seasoning. So I like spicy, so I'm gonna put some tapatio in here. Then I'm gonna add some pepper, some salt. Then I'm gonna stir that around. Yummy. Okay, so once that's all done, I'm just gonna put it in the bowl. Next, I'm gonna cut up some lettuce. In the bowl. I also want some avocado in there. I don't know how much I'm gonna put in. Beautiful. Maybe I'll put about half of an avocado. Then I'm gonna add my red onion in here somewhere. And I do want a little bit of pico de gallo, so I'm gonna put some homemade pico de gallo in here too. Can't forget the cheese, so I'm gonna put some mozzarella cheese and then some tortilla strips. Wow, this is looking so good. And then I'm gonna add this Southwest style dressing right on top. And of course I'll add the lime to make it pretty, but this is my burrito bowl. Cilantro rice, kidney beans with corn, lettuce, avocado, onion, pico de gallo. This looks so yummy, I can't wait to eat this. All right, so that's everything that I basically eat throughout a day. I've definitely been eating a lot more healthy lately and I'm trying to incorporate a lot more vegetables. I mean, I already do eat vegetables all the time, but lately I've been eating a lot more vegetables. So thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. It would help me so much and I'll see you in the next one.